Ahem, hello, hello. How's everybody doing today? <clears throat> uh, I gotta update my layout real quick. The new key. There we go. Okay, let's uh, calibrate this real quick. What's up, uh, we got Dan Lawscore. Uh, can you wait? Grid? Grid? Ugh. Uh, and Huck. So that was off by... Seven more seconds. Push for 50-59. Oof. That would be quite the run. Don't think we're gonna get to go that fast, but I, I like where your head's at. Okay, still a little bit more. Well, I took a little bit of a nap, that's why I had a little bit of a start late, or start late, a little bit of a late start. Was, uh, chilling on the couch, watching some Mighty Mouse, while also partially taking a snooze. No complaints. Was that that was the was that the one that was the the TAS? Mario Maker level, Grid? What's up, Dito? Happy Friday. Oh shit, they someone beat is it confirmed legit? The uh Mario Maker server sh shuts down on the 8th, right? Isn't that the date? So they just barely did it, just in the nick of time. Cool accomplishment. or carbonara you know I don't think I've had either to be honest if I'm if I'm going pasta I'm going uh, Alfredo that's my yeah, well sometimes I'll go you know lasagna, a good lasagna is pretty nice when I'm in the right mood for it has like or traditionally doesn't have like raw egg on it or something or I not want to say the orange is like in it but you know what I'm saying also Paco got sick a few years back having a carbonara so So 
prevents me from wanting to try it. Yep, got a good feeling about the Chief total victory. Ooh, I do like total. Fifty-four fifty. If we get uh, some hot, hot starts going, it's definitely possible. I feel like we're. PB we got uh, Wednesday had a very good so long cape section, but technically we had a death and fire bar, so it's not like it was a perfect so long. And obviously Anastasis was trash. So even though we like kind of uh, clutched it out in a way, we also kind of big time choked it. <laughs> so we're ready. We're ready for the good one. situation I think I was able to go pretty fast. Reconvene that high, Jesus Christ. Thank you guys, by the way. Uh, that was the warm up. That was just a warm up. Get us, get us situated for the night. Superstars, I would be much appreciative.
Mother fucker, dude. God damn it, man. <sighs> That's bad. Bad death by me. Right, right before the part where I actually get to do something kind of, kind of tricky. Yeah. No, oh, guess we're gonna have a bunch of false starts to start the day. I think that happens if I release jump too early, I think. And so I get, uh, I think I get it. Attached to the key, maybe? And then run out of height to get under the spike? New goal, let's get out of level two. <laughs> it's a this is a tough challenge. We'll see if we can uh, succeed. Uh, just started playing Kaizo and just now can fully understand how it's in the world. Oh, thanks, man. And uh, GG on starting up your Kaizo journey. Now as you get to the first check. I mean, if you're just starting to play Kaizo, and you're... Are, are you saying your first Kaizo you're playing is Grand Prix World 3? Thank you, Checkmate, by the way. Oh, uh, that's... Okay, I'm 
I'm just gonna do this that this time. I'll do the good way to end this one because that was not the right way to do the shell, and I got a bit spooked. Because so. yeah, do, doing a uh, Grand Pearl three early on in your in your Kaizo journey is uh, impressive if you can make it a reality. That's this is not easy. <laughs> I feel like it's a pretty good achievement to get to the uh, the checkpoint um, in in just nine hours. Oh. Got to remember, on Wednesday we were kind of we weren't necessarily playing bad. I'm not used to using the dolphin, to be fair. Not used to using the dolphin. I thought it would... I actually shorted my jump quite a bit. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Fucking Christ, man. I think that's... Like, three times we've died in that room already. <laughs> out, of, out of six attempts, which... I don't know if... One of those we didn't even make it to were level two, so... Very bad ratio right now like surprisingly bad ratio in uh that reverse water room it, it can only hold us back for so long right like, that's not Tang? What's the Uh, start with Baby Kaiser World. Love yourself, Big World, and Akari, but was... But always... I'll always play Grand Pearl 3 in between. Thank you for the good luck. Yeah, those are... That's a good set. That's a good set to, uh... Get started with. The only Delta I would probably make, though... Quickie 2 instead of Quickie 1. I, I feel like Quickie 1 is definitely a harder hack. It's like, B2. It's weird, though. I did. I would totally understand not, like, not wanting to do that. Wanting to do them in order. That's all. That's always a uh, a good play. Uh, Juan always said, "Get multiple different hacks, uh, like ready for play. Tackle one of them, see how far you get. And if you get a bit stuck, try a different one, and then hope that the uh, the other one that you're trying." Uh, improves your skill, like it, it gives you a slightly different challenge, builds up a different skill set, and then when you get stuck on that one, move on for the time being, and eventually when you wrap back around, you'll be ready. Oh my god, that was terrible. 
I actually probably should have died. In a very obscure talk about it. So what is my control today, man? It's really bad. We're gonna persist, though. Someone, uh, someone shoot off the fireworks. This is the, the PB for today has been achieved. <laughs> we finally made it to RoboChuck. Some thought it was impossible. We would never get here today. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. That's, when was the last time I did that? I've got such a good visual for that too. Well, I'm not going to reset for now. We're going to continue this. I don't care. I mean, I care that it's trash, but I'm going to continue. Even hi, that's a good luck. We're getting a bit worked right now by the video game. It's really not that good of a strat, to be honest about the way I do the Koopas there. It is like, it is, I think, marginally faster, but it's... The only reason I go for it is because it's level 2 and 4. So even if it is only a few hundredths or whatever it was, like, this is it 0.05? I'm not, I don't exactly remember. I think it's pretty small. The idea is that if, if we die, we can comfortably reset since it's so early on without feeling like we lose a whole bunch. Except today, where it took me this long to get through to the chuck, and I'm like, fuck that. We're gonna. We're just gonna do. Shitty start, and it's gonna just—we're just not gonna die the rest of the way. It's gonna blow your guys' minds. actually salvaged it. Oh my god, I, that was indecisive and almost got wrecked. I was surprised I didn't get wrecked. How many... Oh, 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 oh my god. Dude, how many times today? How many times is it going to be like that? What's up, yell? What is, uh... What are the other... Uh good kaizo hacks that are out right now that are like fairly new we had just played gamble too how hard is this this is a pretty hard hack De definitely an expert level hack and I, I go for 
expert in a half level strats. <laughs> Welcome in, my friend. I hope you can uh, enjoy the runs. Normally, I don't uh, keep one this far behind this early, but we're going to give it a whirl. We're going to see what happens in, in cave. The ooh is the, uh, the bean one, right? I think I'm interested in the, the beans, unfortunately. What, what is, um, we like it here? That name sounds familiar, too. Who was I? Someone must have been playing that that I was watching the other day. That name is definitely familiar. Block skip, but we didn't die. More of an acquired taste, yeah. I feel like I rarely have the acquired taste. That's like Cassio, right? And uh, what other ones were um. What was the one with the weird Mario sprite? It's not really Mario. But he's dressed kind of like Mario. I think it had something like weird or something in the title. Strange things. Strange. No, not stranger things, but str uh, str. Why do I feel like strange is in there? God damn, that's gonna. <laughs> I, someone out here knows what I'm talking about. That's that's the the uh, reaction I like to see. Warm. Watch watch some of the strats I have here. We're gonna do a skip of the disco shell. This. You're supposed to do the disco shell in a different way on this side, but we use the TNT walk off there. Oh my, well, okay, well there goes my strat. So this is gonna get awkward. Well, not now it's not awkward, it's slow. Okay, well, no, we can usually go that really quick. Okay, well, technically not good, but didn't die. Oh my, God, dude, that's literally free. You gotta be shitting me. At least we get a showcase here. Happy Friday, Treason. And then the, uh, the best part of the level is coming up. We're gonna skip the wing block and block grab instead and then do a switcheroo. Watch this. We stole the green one, which detonates faster. So norm normally you're supposed to go back and forth on the wing block and then regular grab the blue TNT, which takes four and a half seconds to detonate the blue on top of having the wing block ride. But then uh, doing a block grab instead skips half of the wing block cycle. But then you need, it doesn't, you don't have enough time before it detonates to reach the location, so you have to do a, a switcheroo. I don't know what 
Did you play this for the first time? Yeah, it's like, it's nothing like the first time, right, Checkmate? And thanks, man. Yeah, I feel really good about the stuff that we found in this hack. We've put in the good work. 57 is happening this weekend. Uh, it already has happened. It happened on Wednesday, so you're actually wrong. <laughs> Not this weekend. My splits uh, crashed on the final split. But it was actually a very, very good run. Um, up until Anastasis, which is like the third to last or fourth. Depends on how you want to classify it. Uh, but it's like third or fourth to last level. And we crushed the first half, which is usually the scarier half for me. Um, and then we got hard stuck in the second half. It was very annoying. Uh, but then we had a clutch as fuck cape in so long to bring it back. Zero, like very, very clean cape. And we ended up PBing by seven or eight seconds. Oh my goodness, I up on that play, I thought I was dead. We're also gonna do an early pipe to skip the troll fish. There's a fish that guards that pipe if you're too slow. First time seeing this hack. Well, welcome aboard. Enjoy. It's uh, It's got some hot strats, as you can see. And it's definitely a, a run that's... It's a very long Kaizo run, for sure. So it kind of gets pretty exciting. The, uh, the emotional investment, if you will. Fifty-six soon, yeah, it's coming. I would not be surprised, Treason. It's a long weekend ahead of us of good attempts, I have a feel. I'm I'm getting more and more confident that I'm gonna go back to all exits after any percent. I apologize in advance if some of you are sick and tired of the Grand Pearl 3, but I feel like I still have unfinished business. For those who don't realize, I'm controlling the the wall, the layer 2 walls. And they're individually controlled, by the way. Left was down, right bumper is up. And then left is left, right bumper is right. Or left bumper is left, right bumper is right in this room. Slow, it's a, it was a little bit slow, but not anything too crazy. So I think we had one really dumb death in uh, Blast Brigade. Very, very avoidable. But otherwise, I think it was good, right? I think that was a good cave.
gotta be shit. I was not expected to bonk it. That was just laziness on my part. Not the biggest death, fortunately, but very... Oh, that's like, I don't know when I've ever done that. Like, that specific bonk on the side. I think that was a good decision to reset myself there. <laughs> Definitely not my preferred pace right now, as we said from exiting level or world one. But a good, good snow, we'd be right back on pace, knock on wood. Didn't get my D-pad off right there, so we accidentally kept going. We accidentally did the intended solution. No, no fast alternative. So that means I was late on the D-pad. I'd already been given credit for moving backwards. Did I say D-pad? I probably meant jump. But I need to come to a stop, and then jump, and then D-pad again. Once I'm in, because the, the jump means I'm in the air. Focus, focus. Nice fucking... With how much character the levels have, do you have? Can you can you uh, explain what you mean by that? Like an example. I'm kind of feeling like just doing a finishing this runoff regardless of what happens. Doing a no reset. Had to use the extra spin block there. Fast. Just beat out the fireball that would be bad. So you had to use the extra spin block. The I think the camera not panning up might have pre um, prevented my fireballs from actually sh like shooting off. Like they they might have like internally sh shot off, but then immediately despawned or something. I guess, but like I don't think they came out. Visibly. So I'm just gonna unlock the key switch fast enough to skip. Nope, that was bad setup. No fast red bubble. Good decision though.
Uh, I feel like a lot of different themes, music, tech, and gimmicks are used. Levels don't feel all feel all all feel samey. That's true. They they uh, definitely each have a unique flair to them. Some people, I, I remember when I was running DKC3 that that sentiment was used as a negative, which I didn't understand. Hold on, I'll, I'll explain in a moment. Nice, got the one cycle. I don't go for that too often, but it felt we were like way ahead. Spacing wise. Lost, lots of lost chuck cycles there, but at least we didn't die. We easily could have. Damn, we got the we we got if not for the chuck that was like everything. Really good peak. Um, so yeah, for DKC three, they a lot of people would say that it's, there's a lot of like one-off gimmicks in it. With like, um, there was like a, a kind of like a the you know the crazy shark in this game. There was something like that, like with the barracuda in DKC three. Uh, feeding fish frenzy was that level. And there, there was uh, several other instances similar to that, but I don't mind that. I think it's you know keeps it interesting. Obviously, you have to le learn a little bit of a different mechanic from level to level, but it can definitely be done very, very well and be enjoyable to play. I always love connectivity. I don't I should have practiced this because that we changed that quad leaf. I wonder if I messed up a visual cue because that leaf did not spawn, correct? That was less of a visual thing, more of um, the sizing of the jumps and stuff. The jump type and the size. And partially visual, I guess, because I have to know exactly when to do the jump. So I guess it is a combination. The whole setup could have been better memorized by me. Um, 6M is one of the coolest level designs and visually satisfying uh, levels in the, I've, you've seen in the Kaizo. It's definitely, it's an interesting mechanic. I don't think it's my favorite, though. For me, I think the slight delay... There's like a slight... Oh, you did not just get a fucking up input. Can't seem to bring this one back. We keep making mistakes. Run out of room. Like we 
we need one of these worlds to actually go clean, and hasn't really been the case. Dude, what is these? How? That like makes no. Nah, I think any bounces off the chuck. I mean, that's a quick death, but still. What the fuck was that D pad? Got a random left. Didn't get to do the midair strat because I messed up the chuck manip. I think I went. I don't think I went far enough left, I think, initially. So I didn't, I didn't like, bait him properly. Which changed his start and stop position. But yeah, so the 6M thing, it's interesting. And I actually really liked the boss on first play. It's not great for a speed run. Not just because of RNG. That, that's a little bit less important just because usually the, the the average is actually uh fairly low on the boss uh, sometimes you do get completely wrecked and that sucks ass but the rng there usually isn't that big of a factor but the um the it's just like kind of slow paced um you know a full minute of just dodging But I do appreciate. I probably could have. Oh my god! I don't know what I was doing? Probably could have one cycled this, to be honest. Well, there goes my ability to do the fast P switch, the yellow. It kind of sucks that uh, the first uh, attempt of this is RNG and I feel like has a fairly high percentage of giving you a bad uh, first fireball. Not a guarantee of bad, but it's usually a death. At, at least when we're trying to do our strat. That was terrible. I forgot that there's... But it does it does have a slightly different lead in to the double bubble wing block skip. I'm not gonna do 
that's unfortunate. I knew the intended that time. Absurd. He didn't behave there either. So we definitely want to, what was it, Hagakure Quad, what was it, wasn't there a second thing? Well, I thought maybe I should give a quick run through of. Oh, the bubble. Although that second time on Temple Bubble, it was fine. I think it was just the first time I, I kind of forgot that it was... Do it just with a few. Thank you, Jermaine. Kind of just doing a uh, little no reset here just to get out of World One. Get a bit warmed up. Uh, the Secret Grove, the, the two eggs that we just did. Um, those are, like, gatekeeper levels, essentially. So for Grand Prix World 3, the overworld is crazy, and there's a lot of dependencies. As an example, uh, you have to beat Porpoise Please, which is the water fortress in the cave. You have to beat that in order to unlock the branches of Hagakure to get that secret exit, which is what unlocks Bonsai Barrage, which is the one with the Cluster Chuck boss that we just fought. Right, so there's a lot of dependencies, and it just so happens that Secret Grove has two dependencies, because there's, there's two exits in there. One of them is 20 exits, and one of them is 25. So you, you can't... Um, get those unless you have the re required number of exits already completed. 
And then the 20 exit one, which is the first one you get, unlocks the Luigi level, Brother Bastion, which has like SMB2U float mechanic Luigi, but on ice. And then the other one is 25 exits required, and it unlocks Oops. Idle Hands is a level that uh, is a play off of Idle Hands from Grand Pool 2. Which is a, like a remix of it. And you can stop time by hitting the, uh, the pause buttons. There's like pause button blocks. So it ends up being, like, start the toss of a key and then hit a pause block so that the key stops so that you can get on top of it. So then you can, but then when it unpauses, you get to fly upwards with it, kind of. Or, like, throw a throw block while it's paused. And then time out the jump forward to, like, reconnect with it when it unpauses. I probably could have gone for Kaiser Helper Block. For some reason I thought the fire was a little bit low, but I I know my X position was good. Like I got the right jump timing, but the fireball was sketching me out, but I think it was actually fine. Is this harder than the first two games? Hmm, that's a, I mean, that's a fair question. I think individually, obstacle-wise, it's... I mean, Grimple, Grimple 2 has a bunch of hard stuff as well. But I do think that uh, Grimple 2 is easier to speedrun. It's way more consistent. Even though there's hard obstacles, they kind of lend themselves to better visual cues and consistency. There's definitely a, a decent bit of RNG in, in this hack. Now, we have found ways to minip some of it. There's also some stuff in this hack that feels, like, slightly janky. Whereas, like, I think Grand Pearl 2 is very well... I mean, saying it's well polished is... And saying that this one is not is that's unfair, I think. But comparatively speaking, I think two is just a little bit better for speedrunning purposes. I did not know. That's a different stew. Really good hack, though. Elder El Dorado in my top three all time. Making a hack would be really cool, but very time consuming. And a lot of, uh, you'd have to learn a lot. So I'm just not willing to, I might be late. Cool, very cool video game. Oh, that was terrible. I mean, it was terrible by me, to be honest. That definitely is gonna dash any potential ideas of comebacks on this attempt. Nice 40-something second time loss.
you gotta be shitting me that it did it it did it I think it double hit the on off May unless I just confused myself I feel I feel like something bad happened Hard mode rank, first rank among your accomplishments. Not as high as you would think. I mean, I'm I'm very happy that I did it. It's it's it felt very rewarding getting all of that, and uh, especially when I, I think a lot of people thought it couldn't be done. It was it was awesome to be able to kind of show people that you put your mind to it, you can do it. All right, so that, that was aspect was really cool. Um, but I, I mean, if you think about it, I spent 30 hours grinding that out, right? Which is, that's not an insignificant amount of time. But consider how long I spend speed running. Not just a single attempt that is the world record, but the time doing all the other attempts that fail all of the incremental progress with the PBs, the science, the like the initial learning followed by the updates to make things consistent, the new discoveries. And then when you're able to put that all together after months of work and get a really quality run, to me, that is more satisfying. And I, there's so many runs that I I would have I think above the the hard mode in terms of like being proud of it like my, my storks run with the, the 27 uh, the new the new Grand Pearl 2 record for the 44 12 or whatever it was the Titan one just just to name a few How did that not give me bounce credit? I was right there. I, I turned to the left early, obviously, but I, I thought I, would, I thought I was in range of contact. That's not high enough. still finish strong sub hour still on the table which would be great for a no reset run right
that's such an easy mount. Saw that slide. Had to bail it out because uh, that that slide would have cost me too much speed. We would have made this skip. Uh, the sub 58 run, the splits crashed before I could uh, save them. Li live splits froze after my final split. Yeah, so we we don't have them. Someone made a good suggestion. Like I could go back and watch the PB video, and and uh, split as it happened. But I say fuck it. We'll just uh, get a new PB, right? Bash. Thank you for the good luck. Okay. Final level. See if we can get the uh, sub hour. That'd be a pretty good achievement for no reset, so. All right, we exited world one plus 40 seconds on this attempt. So. Or no, wait, was it world one or was it? Somewhere we were plus 40 early on. I'm doubting myself if it was actually world one, too. Just barely too late. That was everything was actually really well set up there. Just missed the visual by a smidge. So yeah, that probably rules out the sub hour. definitely left too early. I had, like, too much initial height.
bad room by me. Decision, but the item tech would pour it. I need to use uh, standard. I didn't just, uh, I let him do two. <laughs> I completely forgot I was on. Ah, we got bombs. 
I uh, sketchy decision to go. Phase three was very clean. Won't be too bad of a time. Solid. Whew, let me take a quick look. Let's see, yep. Yeah. Look right here. Testudo, Blades. Like, we were plus 40 in World 1. So it was a, we just did a no reset. And uh, there were some decent parts throughout it, but then there's also some annoyances. Tower of Fate. Failed the manip once and then died once. So huge time losses from that. So th those three aspects, World 1 and then Tower of Fate, the two deaths. That, mm, that's probably like two of the minutes. So very interesting. And then the another one probably was uh, so long, Cape 1. Yeah, this was, uh, this was not good. So really, four four different things, and everything else the same. That's actually, I mean, that's still a lot to ask for. Don't don't get me wrong. It's like that's not like close, but it it does mean that a lot of the rest of the run was played pretty decent. Thanks for the G's, by the way. Warming on up. Let me uh. Just real quick. Let me do this. Okay. Do I need to... See how that, that shell was this time? It's because I did it right. And that was wrong. Somehow that's... So maybe it's going too big on the wiggle. Because I did a more emphasized wiggle on the this part right there. Just gonna have to pay attention to it closer so if it doesn't spawn the way I want I should definitely bail and use top leaf but I have to be paying attention like that one use top leaf because of how far right that guy was how do you jump so Let's do it again. Thank you. 
Once upon a time, Princess Peach was uh, a real sweetheart to us. We had a whole night of just nothing but crazy runs with her. Let's see if we can't uh, channel that good energy again with her. Luigi. Before that no reset run, we'd you know done several World One attempts, and uh, that second half had felt pretty slow. So since I was in the green there with a really fast first half, I was like feeling motivated to go extra aggressive. You, usually it uh, pans out nicely on the chuck. Like you can kind of go more aggressive than you initially think, but uh, too aggressive that time, I guess. Just finished off a no reset run. Wasn't terrible. Got a 102. Now we're hoping we're warmed up and ready to get the uh, the good spice going here. on the shell toss I do to start Testudo Secret and Testudo Normal. I was using the D-pad when tossing. I should neutral the D-pad. Because sometimes, not, not, it's not too often, but once in a while, we'll get a bad input. It, like turn, We'll turn to the right before the shell actually goes off and stuff like that, or accidental up input, right? But no reason to really risk it, just... Toss, like neutral the d-pad then toss so you guarantee it goes left
side best ever. Although apparently we had a good, good chuck on our best ever as well. Or close enough on the secondary best ever. Ugh, damn. I ain't complaining though. Definitely seemed like it was late coming down to me. But it, we were just barely able to make it work. Nice. That might be green. Yeah, let's go! After four levels, we're less than four seconds off of gold. To be fair, I might have split a few hundreds of a second early there out of excitement, but I don't want to undo it because we are in the green, and I kind of want to record that split even if it's slightly fake. We got it. The gold was by 0 0.12. It's possible that that's valid, but... Well, maybe it... I mean, well, I don't know. That was an insane World 1, by the way. Like, look, look at the delta between my golds and my current pace. Like, the, the best possible. Eight nineteen, eight nineteen. World 1. Whew. Oh, and we got wrecked by the fucking airship. Yeah, look at that. It just, it wouldn't come down. It happens. Probably the first ever sub 820 world one. Because that had like all of the. I don't know if there's any, there any strats that I was missing in that. Mm-hmm. 
Wiggle was almost too sloppy. Could easily hit the spike from a lack of momentum. So yeah, now that we're not going for the full one cycle, that no block in the first half. Uh, even with like a perfect everything else, we can't even be in the green. That's how much. Oh, one second. Okay, not this. A bit sloppy, but oh, that was almost a bad decision. Still love our paces and actually insane. Uh, Zelda Cap Guy, thank you for the brand new tier one. Welcome on in. I do appreciate that. Glad to see that you're uh, enjoying the runs. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, thank you, man. I appreciate it. You thought if you thought that was skillful, wait till you see this shit. Let's get you a hot blast brigade. A fan favorite level. Nah, don't look at that. <laughs> don't don't look at that. that happens. A little bit of a cheese there. Optimize that to barely get out of the way. <laughs> Yo, nice. Glad to hear you're having a good time tonight. Enjoy. Enjoy the drinks. Sit back and relax. I'll show you some, some hot runs to go with those nice, cold, refreshing drinks, I assume. Pegasus may have helped you escape the Shadow Realm once before, but it won't happen again. Uh, Zelda, thank you for the gift sub too. Uh, Lee, Leah FX. Tonight is the night, yo. Thank you, Frisky. We did a no reset. Had we were plus forty exiting world one, and ended up with a one o two. And there were several other big mistakes made along the way after world one. So it's like we're honestly right there. Really think about what all that means. Oh, I cannot believe I didn't die. I should have been dead. I'll take it. Good decision to get an extra quick wiggle. If I play as Luigi, uh, there is no Luigi to play as except for in Brother Bastion. I'm pretty sure that's accurate. There's Waluigi. If that counts. Oh god! Oh, okay. That was a bad... Uh, Uh, Donald, thank you for the raid. Welcome on in, guys. Time to get cozy. We're on a hot pace right now. Oh. 
Let's get wild. Crank it up. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Donald? How was the stream, dude? What are you up to? How, how are you choosing to game tonight? And yes, we are on a little bit of a... A little bit of a spice right now. Okay. Whoa, I didn't get... Um... Okay, this is weird. Oh, I don't know. Oh my god. Okay, that's probably better. What the fuck was that? What happened? I must not have been paying attention. Like, this must not have worked. I took it for granted. great pace. Ooh, Gam dude, I finished up Gamble uh, 2 the other night. I think, that, yeah, I think it was Wednesday night I finished it up. Really fun. Really, really fun. Highly recommend for those who haven't tried it out yet. I need some help with the Pine Boss House, so... Also, I can't- I can't believe no one's taking, uh, Zelda guy up on his offer. No, no one wants to get hyped for a- What the f just happened there? Okay. I'm losing some of my focus. Hold on. Let me- let me- let me focus up a little bit. Taking some silly deaths all of a sudden. Fine, it's a fine pace. Not, it's not as crazy as it once was, but it's, we can definitely do shit with this. Is definitely not, uh, not bad. Sam's. Hell yeah, good hit. Oh yeah, I love the the butt bump is so good. Such a good butt bump. Okay. I gotta read what you wrote though before. Just used up a lot of concentration on that. Uh, Stronghold two, four, five. I don't know. I couldn't even kill myself fast. Bad angle. It's a quick one at least. Okay. Oh wow, that's close. Didn't slow fall at all. Perfect. Beautiful. I do like the fact that there's a reward. Uh, Bowers. But to be fair, you could save state your way through and still get the character select. Nice. That was for you, Donald. Getting the, uh, the hot 
nearly optimal strat. It's got the right balance of speed and consistency. Whoa, that was almost shorted. You were glitched, how so? I'm not sure what that exactly means in this context. Dude, that is the second time today I've gotten a fuck-ass up input there. Damn it, man. Oh, helping to manipulate the RNG? The question is, is it RNG? I swear when I was playing it last night, or not last night, uh, Wednesday night, Donald, that uh, Kamek was spawning in the same locations. Like, I didn't realize it at first, but once I looked, uh, there's like several times in a row he kept being in the exact same spots. But it, maybe I was also moving the exact same way. Like maybe it's maybe it's just like in Brother Bastion. Got to skip. Two, three, four, five, six. Essie to SNES save state, you don't need to beat all the rooms, just beat any room 81 times. <laughs> so you just beat the same room 81 times in a row? Jeez. Which which room did you pick? Oh, laser. Did you pick the laser room? That would be awfully cheeky. I completely forgot that laser was a room. So we don't see it in the run. been doing pretty well in that strat lately. And if I have a good setup, I go for it. Our pace kind of Get off. Okay, well, this runs trash now officially. That's such a bummer. That was not due to a lack of focus. I just got stuck on the edge, and that's the whole point of going to the edge. Is so that you can then do a quick left right to guarantee that you're not.
I just got a new job, so I haven't been able to catch streams live, but been all caught up on your PBS World Records. Congrats. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that, Powerful. Hope the uh, the new job is going well. Let us know about it if you don't mind. I got the one cycle on the previous attempt. It was like way higher, like way earlier. Oh god. Definitely went early there, but no punish. Oh, speaking of no punish. Good decision not to do, commit because I did the wrong jump. Uh, we didn't get the one cycle, which is part of the reason that I was actually able to save that. It gave me time to actually realize that I was using the wrong jump type. About a minute slow, and uh, we have bubbles to thank for that. Like, if this didn't happen, uh, we'd actually still be on a really solid pace, but it's fine. We're gonna do our best. So we had a pretty rough forest left on the no reset run. But if we have a good force left, start there but that's that's a minimal time loss compared to what could have happened so yeah, if we have a good force left we'll be kind of right back in this i think for force right is definitely our better side for cons in terms of consistency but maybe we'll clutch this fast red shell but we knew we practiced to realize when we mess it up like what it looks like so even though we got the quad leap we didn't get the shell manip chill been pretty chill so far today um nothing too crazy at work took a small little nap while watching some mighty mouse on the couch post work and then uh got on we did a no reset run it was not terrible it had some terrible moments but oh that's too slow to get the fast Womp. Like right mood, right one movement to womp. So yeah, we got uh, a 102 on the no reset today. Now bear in mind, that was with a plus 40 exiting world one, right? So it was like really a suboptimal start. Good decision to cancel the midair. Cause that was not, it was not gonna work properly. 
rare or good decision on that part by me. Plus 40, we took, uh, we had, a, we failed the Manip in Tower of Fates. So we had a power off, power on. And then on top of that, we died in the seventh room of FFA. So we had to do all of FF8 as well. So yeah, two big issues there. The 40, plus 40 in World 1, and then something else went horribly wrong. I don't remember. Oh, I think it was, uh, first cape section. So long. So yeah, despite that, we got a 102. So that's actually making me feel pretty good about our position. I... what? I don't know if that's ever happened to me, but if it has, it's probably it's happened like once. I can't believe that is something that has just occurred. That is, I was trying to do a massive re-grab and I pressed it too early. I didn't get, I got what I wanted, but it didn't give me credit for the, the, the switch activation for the yellow, the first yellow. Forest left fucking sucks ass, man. <laughs> there are definitely some some cool strats, but consistency wise, nah. left I do yeah I, I count the timer in my head I go one two three slower than that but you get the idea Fucking free part of that. 
come on, man. Some retail, so it's got some upside. I can only imagine. I never worked a retail job, but I hear nothing of bad. Oh, come on. Unnecessary. Okay, clean. How are we on pace? I mean. It's, it's, trust me, it's grim. It's grim as fuck right now. We had a terrible anastasis in our PB, which right now is the only thing giving this run a chance, and that's if I can get through all of Forest Right and Tower of Fate clean. Like, that's currently the criteria for this run to pull it back, and even then... We'll see, though, we'll see. We're gonna need we're gonna need to have a monster endgame. Yeah, see, PB's just entering the second half of step sprint already. Can't do the fast trap. When the 
the when the Yoshi is like that, I think it's because it's bouncing up and down. We got the unlucky timing that we got it while it was on the way up, making it late coming down. I guess we can do that. So yeah, if the Yoshi, if we get the unlucky lucky timing when we hit the spin block and the Yoshi's not on the downward, it's late and the wing block gets too low, so we can't get the jump location to to yeet Yoshi to the munchers. stars. Just in case we get the correct alignment, but rarely do we ever make it clean enough where it's obvious I'm going to get it, so I usually bail. <sighs> okay, well that was uh, a nearly perfect right side force. What I said is, I, I told you that the right side force is way more consistent than the left side. But still good that we were able to get it, right? That's very important. I hope I remember to power off power on. I actually don't remember if I did. And we'll find out soon enough, right? Did. Nice. Oh my god, I almost didn't make that. Jesus fucking Christ, that jump was trash. Tower. Mm, I don't think so because I've done so much tower since then due to the runs, right? I think it might be a different story if I wasn't speed running Grand Pro 3 and then like you know, took a few years off and then came back like oh that would bring back some memories i think but i think we've formed so many new memories in this game that they've overwritten the uh <laughs> the tower of fate ones i mean i still have definitely fond memories like i look it was really really enjoyable grind and a great fun accomplishment but by the time i get to this level in in the run i'm i'm busy thinking about 
end game, preparing myself mentally. Not only for tower, but even, I mean, maybe it's the wrong thing to do, but I, I prepare myself for both tower and after, right? Consider all the things I need to get done. Remember all the visuals. Take some deep breaths. Hmm. Maybe say a prayer or two. That's also that's also a good thing to do once you get to Tower of Fate, right? Yo, look how happy uh, the princess is right there. We ain't, we ain't out of the woods yet. That was definitely nice. Still got two more things, well, three more things to do. We can do it. How did I whiff on that, man? That's... When do you ever see me whiff on that? Not the biggest death, at least, but still. And I got pushed hard to the side, so no one cycle. Whoa. second guessed myself now i've obviously i've done that uh, shell skip in runs on good paces so when i say i check it out it doesn't mean like i never go for it or i won't go for it ever again or anything like that but something something spooked me even though i don't think it was warranted i think i was actually fine i could have committed i don't know what like caught my eye or something Fuck off? Yeah, this is what we needed. Yeah, I was waiting for that. At that point, because it's too, a little bit too risky now. Last attempt, we had a really solid. Three, four, five, six, 
six, seven, eight. We'd had a really solid portrait room. It's a bummer. PB class. I didn't. I don't remember that actually. I must have blacked that out. But uh, I know PB crushed Cape. So uh, we are technically in the lead right now, but we're immediately going to lose it if we don't have a good Cape. Let's see what happens. We do have a chance to PB if Cape goes well. It's on the table. Video game, please. Disgusting. Oh, wow. The second attempt, I wasn't expecting to hit the low ceiling. I aimed for the low ceiling. I thought I wasn't going to get the low ceiling. So then I wasn't prepared for the... the necessary techniques to finish it off. Pulled that one all the way back to get to so long with a chance, and I fucking wasted it, dude. Happens. Had to eke out every frame there to try to reach that. Almost, almost salvaged it. Uh, no, you don't actually slam the ground for getting past the big Sparky at the end. You, uh, you slide. 
you have to neutral the D-pad and coast into him. But I have a very particular way I do it. The fact that we can make this many mistakes and still have the chance, right? It's actually the first uh, time the Kubish stole my shell today. So that's pretty good. I haven't had it once so far. Fifty-five, you'll love to see it. sloppy but that's not, it's not gonna be like too punishing by any means
classic mistake. Get out of blades, hopefully. Yeah, get a world two attempt. What's up, Dante? We uh, we made it to so long with the chance. And then we got e eaten up. Keep your uh, your Friday's going well. Respectable. We had one quick death in Testudo normal, but that was it. This is always a, um, a good spot to be in. Let's see what we can do with it. change out our character a decent bit, but I always forget to change out our songs. I feel like we've been doing the Gangster's Paradise for a long time now. Never remember to switch it.
didn't trust that too far to the right. That was actually a very good decision. Normally one that I don't actually even consider as an option. So what I'm referring to is there's a strat there where you can clip the corner and get a new breath of fresh air um, without actually going into the cubby hole. And so I have a setup for it and I want to be positioned at a certain spot left on the block. And I was, I felt like I was too far right. And normally I just like go for it regardless, but th this time, cause you're just in the, you know, in the motion of it. This time I was actually reacted fast enough to bail. Definitely not upset about it. Didn't get the instant pipe. I was too high to go for the quick fish gate there. Again, that's just, I think that was a good observation. Sometimes you have to let it go best part was we didn't let it rattle us again a decent percentage of the time i just commit when i really shouldn't or if i do decide not to commit i panic yeah that's some bullshit Can you fucking get real, dude? There goes the face. It's trash now. Disgusting. Let me let me fucking see this. What what are level porpoise, please?
that's what I want to do. But... I'm staying further right. Okay. Change my dismount style. from the beginning and make sure this uh, this works. I don't want it to be save safe dependent. It's a small tweak, but it did seem like it made a difference. So when I, if I'm further right, when I contact the dolphin, that means I have less X distance I need to travel to reach the throw blocks, which makes it so that I have more time to, to deal with the throw blocks. Like that. And get a nice 60 there. Okay, let me write that in. Uh, this is... Corpus, please... So this, so after, uh, after riding the dolphin into the ceiling, <clears throat> uh, naturally fall back down upper platform uh immediately min spin jump plus immediate regrab 
plus immediate release. Min bounce plus fast fall six times on the saw. Min reel bounce plus immediate regrab to dismount on the seventh bounce. I think this is accurate. Let me double check this, okay? So we naturally rise up. So once we do this, so after, after riding the dolphin, naturally fall back down, immediately min spin jump plus immediate regrab plus immediate release. And then min bounce fast will six times. Yeah. Min real bounce plus immediate regrab to dismount on the seven. Make sure that this save state works for this, which it should. I'm gonna go uh, pee real quick and we'll get uh, right back at it. More runs, let's go. Oh, well, let, let's change the song. That reminds me for Rich. This will also just take a second.
Also, I don't know if James is still here, but what's up, man? Thank you for the talk. I know you came in when I was doing the uh, quick investigation, so didn't get a chance to say hi just yet. But hopefully, having a good Friday so far. Hopefully that uh, pipe goes a bit smoother now. I feel the setup seems much more controlled now than it was previously. Like before, actually I should have written down if this dies, I, I'm going to have to load that back up one more time. I think I forgot to write down a very important detail. The, one of the things that makes the update good is I'm pretty sure I was doing it without releasing right. Like, once I did the seventh bounce on the saw to dismount, I think I just held right. Whereas in the past... The reason I was getting, I was being in a further left position was because I didn't have a a known bounce size off the saw. So like now I'm doing immediate or min real bounce. So that means having jump held when you make contact, but immediately releasing after you make contact. So that's the min real bounce. But then it's followed by an immediate re grab. Yeah, with that that setup, I have a more guaranteed positioning, and have worked out that it aligns with the dolphin properly, so I don't have to overshoot or that's the right. I don't have to overcompensate to the left to be safe, right? And that that's what was getting me in trouble. <laughs> Hell yeah, Rich. Any run could be the run, indeed. I was just mentioning that earlier tonight, Dante. Uh, we did a no reset run, and it was a 102, but. And that might not sound very close to a 54, which. And, you know, realistically, it's not. But when you've examined the actual execution, we it was a no-reset run in which we took a plus 40 out of World 1. So that's part 1. All right, so wipe, wipe at least 30 seconds off of that from that 102. And I think it was a low one, so it would have been like a 101. And then miss the Tower of Fate Manip. That's 45 seconds. All right, so if you look at some of the individual things. Uh, Eric, thank you for the Prime Game for four months. Welcome back in. Do I, oh, maybe I do have to do a quick... Are you planning on running fake ending? Nah, I don't think I am. Hmm. 
Do I want it? Okay, hold on. We're going to take another quick look at this. I haven't been playing Duel Links lately either. <laughs> I don't know. There's something, something about the, the Sky Striker box. Naturally rise, immediately max ju max spin jump into the ceiling. As soon as you hit the ceiling, fast fall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It looks like you do a. Spin jump. In uh, max spin jump, bonk the ceiling. Okay, what else should I say? Immediately max spin jump. St start fast falling as soon as uh, you bonk the ceiling. Immediately max spin jump. Start fast the ceiling, and then then we do the min bounce. Plus fast fall six times. Min real bounce plus mirror rib to dismount on the seventh bounce. Uh, quick left right wiggle and it's like. I'll, let me do it out of cue. So bottom of Mario crosses past. Bottom of Mario crosses past the top of the top spin block or throw block. Yeah. When the bottom of Mario crosses past the top of the top throw block. So after running the dolphin, naturally fall back down. Max spin jump. Melee max spin jump. Start fast one as soon as Mario bonks. And then it's going to be the six. Um, min bounce pass all six times. Min real bounce plus immediate regrab. Wait till that. Okay. I like that. It's a good update. Some rebirth, Warframe, and Dragon's Dogma 2. Yeah, I don't know why I haven't been. Oh, I think I know why. So it's it's the combination of. Um, I finally got the live twin deck, Dante. So I grinded up a bunch of different. See, that's the thing I fucking hate about Duel Links, man. Is the grinding to get the gems from the player un level unlocks takes so fucking long. Uh, Bojo, thank you for the tier one for 25 months. I appreciate that, man. Welcome on in. We made it to so long tonight, and then we said bye bye <laughs> to our run.
But and we made a tweak to uh, Porpoise, please. Yeah, that was on Wednesday. Wednesday we got a 57, 52. We yeah, it was actually very good. The um, Anastasis just second half I just couldn't beat it for some reason. Very weird. Made some terrible mistakes. But we crushed uh, Cape to bring it back. So yeah, Dante, I was uh, grinding out all these gems, right? To be able to buy the packs. And of course, Live Twin is hella fucking expensive because it's you need three copies of each of the URs in a main box. So it take me, took me so fucking long to acquire everything, right? And then once I do, then the uh, Sky Striker box comes out. And apparently that deck is supposed to be very good against back row heavy decks. And I also thought I was going to enjoy Live Twin place out a little bit more than I actually do. Like, it's fine, but it's not... It's like more kind of like an annoying board to set up. And a little bit confusing, to be honest. Like, it takes some practice to kind of... I mean, that's true for a lot of decks, but... It's, def it's definitely not as straightforward as some other decks. And then you're... Most of the time... Stuck with, like, an 1100 attack point monster. So, like, even if you do get to some amount of control... It, it kind of takes a while to actually close it out. So you're kind of giving your... The, the opponent does have some chances to kind of get back in, so it doesn't seem like the most surefire strat. So I don't know. The, the, those two facts. The fact, or the fact it took so long to get it, then I'm not like super in love with the, the deck. And then the fact that I spent all this time getting it, and now it's like not even that great against the current meta. <laughs> so... You also spent a lot of uh, money on the live twins and you didn't like it? Yeah. It's, when I was watching the deck reviews, it seemed like it was kind of like an interesting deck, but playing it myself, I was like, eh. salvages there that shark didn't quite behave normal it was close to behaving normal but it was a little bit off Ooh, really good left right at the last moment to avoid dying to the koopa what's up x-man thank you thank you good luck Cut a bad angle there, so I had to do an extra bounce on the ship. You're only supposed to need one. Oh, but I still got a 20 because because of the way that it happened, I actually got the bounces really close together. It didn't push me out as far as normal. So it, normally, if you get two bounces on the ship, it's a 19 instead of a 20. So it wasn't as bad of a time loss as normal.
explain some malefics. Oh, um, can you stop dying to this shit? God, this strategy is so bad. Such a dumbass strat. It's like so unnecessary. But I'm greedy, and I'm gonna go for it. I don't want to go for it, but I am gonna go for it. I was dying to it twice. I'm six dying to it any times, but usually, usually once, we don't feel too bad about. Do Malefics have anything special that makes them like? Relevant in the current meta, but I don't. I don't really. S I well, I've been playing any PvP lately, but in the previous format, I don't think I was seeing any malefics. And it's been a while since I've seen malefics in general. They can cheese some, some wins just because just because they're big. I know their um, continuous spell plus their field, their field spell, make them very annoying. <laughs> oh, Tom, what's up, man? Thanks, dude. We're trying. We're trying to be goat-like. Game's kicking our ass just a little bit today. Oh, you know the other reason I just remembered? Right now, the Casey Cup is going on. The absolute most dog shit Duel Links event ever created. <laughs> I used to play in the in the Casey Cup and strive for a, a pretty solid score. Never made it like too, too crazy by any means. But you know, I always thought it was like interesting. Once upon a time. Because I am competitive. But the format is just so bad, dude. I was tired of not getting a lot of sleep. And then I think at that the my main heyday on Casey Cup was back when Cyber Dragons. Like everyone and their grandmother was fucking playing Cyber Dragons. So frustrating. Cause was I playing Was I playing Dark Magician at that time? I'm not sure. At the one I'm thinking, I think I might have been. Because it's one of those things like they get to set up and have so much good interruption or just OTK you if they're going. To, like, it's it was so hard to deal in the game. The games were fast, but frustrating. Yo, know, how's it going, Johnny? Yeah. It's, it's the Yugs. Been an after the fact Maverick watching the streams 12 hours late. Yeah, hey, I appreciate you uh, tuning into the VODs at least. Oops. Yeah, I fucked that up, but uh, didn't die at least. Could have been much worse. Pot agreed is the goat of interruptible cards. Uh, still banned, I believe, as, uh, up to this day. It's been a long time, I think, since uh, Potter Reed was last playable. Well, uh, what was I? I have no idea. This was, like, so long ago, Dante. Because, like, what what do the top people get? Don't they get, like, 70-something thousand, right? Isn't that, like, the common? Like, top, top tier. Poor 
49k. See, I don't know if I got to that high. I, I was thinking 40k. Maybe it was high 30k. That number seemed familiar to me. But I do know it was not top 100. Okay, go for the full ending. If we fail, we reset, I guess. I just, I don't get how that was. As trash as that was. I'm, I'm like not thrilled about it, but we did get the strats, so we have to continue. Is there a pot of greed skill? There is a skill, I think, but I think it's a trash skill because I think it's like a on turn five with Jaden, I think, or some, something stupid like that. And it's like under certain conditions, too. If I'm remembering correctly, like it's not a. If you have to wait that long for your skill in modern Duel Links, you are probably already dead. Yoshi was uh, fed up with my shenanigans, right? <laughs> oh, Dom. Yeah, it's super sweet of you, man. I appreciate that. I'm just, I'm just a simple plumber, though. You know what I'm saying? That's, I'm lucky. I, I fucked that up, and then I almost doubly fucked it up and then somehow I was able to <laughs> to cut my my jump height just in time don't worry Tom Th this run is for Tom which is not a good thing because this runs not in the best shape right now but for you buddy here we go we're gonna we're gonna just do some real good fucking gaming That felt so much cleaner. Oh yeah, dude. Well, we'll we'll keep an eye on that. We'll see if it's as good as I think it is. Setup wise. Well, I, sh I should say we'll see if, if the setup is as cons as as good as it is consistency wise. But also possibly speed wise, because I did notice I was getting like. 360 every was it three or is it 260? Whatever it's this X60, um, which is my optimal. The reason I bring it up is because I was starting to get you know occasional 59s.
And 59 has never really bothered me before, but if this is always going to get me a 360, I mean, it is, like, slightly faster, possibly, so. <laughs> Can you? I'm going to, this is, if I lose this, I'm going to reset this. So I'm gonna go for this whole entire room. If that was more than 10 in-game timer, I'm, I'm dead. I don't have time for... I'm gonna try to make up for it with some smooth movements. Pray. Pray that I was good enough. It's up to the... That was the wrong movement. Uh, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Not by much, though, but we were fine. <laughs> What's up, zombie? Hope this uh, PBs. I mean, it's it's still alive. It's still alive. It ain't necessarily the prettiest thing I've ever uh, put on screen, but it can do the trick. For a few more seconds, three three in-game timer. I had another like 1.8 seconds, 1.9 seconds to my name before dying. Yo, shoutouts to Honda Civics. That was my uh, my first ever car. What the? That was trash. One second. Uh, yo, J Rose, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, guys. Uh, how was the stream? What were you up to, dude? Thank you for the good luck. If you're new here, welcome in. I'm Stu. I like to speedrun uh, Kaizo stuff. I've uh, done some other stuff in the past as well, but we've been on a good Kaizo kick for a long time now. And uh, we're playing Grand Pooh World 3 here. Very difficult hack. And we have optimized the shit out of it. Trying to secure one, two, three, four. I've watched this. We're gonna we're gonna skip that Koopa. Watch this. Sna snag that for an early snowdrop. Watch what we're about to do here. We're gonna not you're supposed to do a shell spin to get across. We're gonna do a shell jump instead. Watch this. Yep. And then one last thing over here. There's a Kaizo block guarding the pipe, but we are going to calculate a very precise jump to bypass it while still landing on the final block. You'll see what I mean here shortly. Watch this. Got it. You have to get exactly, like, bonk the ceiling, but at the exact right time so you don't bonk the sidewall. That kind of shit. Um, and if you're early, you're dead because you don't reach the thing. If you're late, you hit the wall. And if you try to... Do the um, use every single block. There's a Kaizo to uh, guard it. So yeah, I, that's what I do. We optimize the shit out of these games, and uh, we're trying to get a 56, which is. Uh, fuck, I didn't get rightward momentum. Uh, we have like five to six minutes to spare between my gold splits and my desired final time. 
but this hack is very long, um, so, and hard, <laughs> and full of RNG. So that time does get eaten up fairly easily. It's going to take a, a mammoth run, but at the same time, we do have all the skill and strats needed to get even as low as like a 54 if we were just like insanely crushing it and all the RNG went our way. favorite levels of this. I've yet to get this shell first try today, which is fucking terrible. It's always second try. crazy pace right now, but like I said, because we have so much time available, we can take these sorts of paces and convert them into good paces if some things start going in our favor. Is there another chat? I have, I'm up on YouTube as well, Rich. Make like, y'all. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. We do spend a lot of time. Normally, when we get a, a nice little raid like this, I do uh, like to show you guys the process. I have a whole note sheet that I write with all of my all of the details as to how I do these strats. And when we go to the lab to fix something, uh, I'll start making updates to that sheet, and I keep a record of uh, kind of like the progression. Just in case I need to go back and... Four, five, six. You know, fix something. Because some, sometimes I have an initial version, and I think it's good, and then it's trash. In terms of consistency. And then I'm like, okay, well, let me try this. And then that doesn't work. And then I come back to the original version. Like, So, you know, I sometimes ping-pong back and forth between ideas. So I, I keep the log for that very reason. What do the letter means in the split? Very good question. Uh, so first we start with the level name or an abbreviation of it. So this is Bubbles Bitch, so I just call it Bubbles for the, this set of splits. The number next to it is the room. I do individual room splits instead of individual level or individual worlds. Um, so this is the Bubbles one is the first half of Bubbles or the first room because sometimes they have multiple rooms per half. Um, oh, I didn't despawn it properly. I'll continue explaining just a moment. Watch this. Uh, after, the after the room number, you have the grip type. So I'm in claw grip right now, and I just switched to standard. I don't know if my, I hope my splits are up to date to reflect that. And I'm back to claw. So C is claw, S is standard, C or P is piano grip, X is X claw grip. So these are all just different ways for me to position my hand on the um, controller. Various grips have various strengths and weaknesses. So, for instance, uh, standard grip is good for items. Uh, let me see if I can get this real quick. So standard grip is your normal thumb over YB or XA. Uh, and that's good for item, item tech because you can press run and jump at the same time very easily with a slap of the thumb if you need to do a block grab, for instance. And it's also easier to hold jump while just releasing um, run to, like, throw the items. But then claw grip... I'll go for two seconds. I wasn't enough attention there. Uh, claw grip is is my primary grip. Very useful for precision. Um, I'll I'll show you what claw grip looks like at the end of this level, so you can see the the visual of it. It'll, be, it'll help with the explanation. Uh, 
Uh, Boofy's thing for the Prime Gaming sub, I think is what it said. Brand new, I do appreciate that. Nice. Got the one cycle all the way around, except for the back side of the chuck, which was two cycle. So mostly quick there. And then we're going to go beat out the saw. We're going to get in front of it to get this. And then get that portion to get a one cycle towards the thwomp instead of waiting back and forth on the saw. Thank you, Nate. Appreciate that, man. Okay, so claw grip. You wrap your index around to the run button, either Y or X, your preference, but that leaves your thumb able to move to the other buttons. Uh, so why that's nice for precision is in standard grip, you're using like the knuckle of your thumb to press the jump button. And so moving that up and down is difficult to do quickly and precisely, but when you're using the pad of your thumb in claw grip, it's very quick. Um, so if you, if you need to like super control your re-grab, it's so, for me, it's it's much preferred to do it in, in claw grip. But X claw grip, I do use in this run, which is the same thing, but using claw grip with your index on X instead of on Y. So Y, y is my default for claw, but Doing it on X allows your thumb to also get the Y button, which normally isn't that important. Hello? Dude, what the f are you serious? Yeah, cool. Well, this run just went to the shitter. Twice it didn't. How did that not line up? It's -a me, your lost run. Yeah, oh. pretty much. Oh. <sighs> of course, that time I overdid the left. This is not usually the spot that gets me of this level. We do a camera manipul- but we do actually a bunch of things there. Oh man, we were actually doing some good pace things. Like, we had a chance. We can still do things, but now it's- or we just made our lives a lot harder. Forest left is one of my least consistent portions of the run, I would say. A lot can and will go wrong. But it, it's crazy, because like, we can easily one-shot that room. Like, there are plenty of times that we do, but there are also plenty of times where this happens. Ugh, annoying. But it is what it is. So yeah, X-Claw. Uh, same thing as Claw, but you use the X, and that lets you have the thumb available to hit uh, Y, which is useful in Weird Wield, where you're controlling Yoshi, who can also spit fire in that specific level. And to spit fire, you have to press the Run button. But you want to keep Run held at the same time. So you need it. That's that's like the only way to make that work. Um, well, that's not true, but it's the easiest for me way to make that work while doing everything quick and still having the the benefit of all the precision that you get out of claw naturally. And then uh, the last grip is piano. Which usually we don't have very many spots where we need to use piano. It's typically best suited for mashing. I'll, sh I'll show you what it looks like. At the end of this level. So we're doing quick jumps here, by the way. That's tech specific to this level. Climbs up faster, manip the chuck, get a midair. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, and then so the last grip, 
to showcase piano, typically controller on desk, and you have your fingers like this, index, middle, ring, and you can see you, by having the individual fingers, you can toggle them back and forth very, very quickly. So mashing for swimming, mashing for fireballs when you have fire flower, stuff like that. Um, piano is typically the best for that. So it's, it's really cool that if you invest the time to understand these different techniques, you can find ways to use them to improve your speed and or consistency in runs. I should have said um, that Grand Pearl 3 in general is a very interesting hack. Lots of different gimmicks, as you can probably tell. These timer plat or these platforms are on global timers. So if you pause the game, they're actually still toggling on and off. And I'm going to use that in the boss fight. You'll see it momentarily. Uh, there's also... Nice, got it. The quick P-switch there. That saves a cycle compared to not going for it. About half a second. This is a cheese. We throw the shell, then despawn, respawn it. So we've activated the P-switch and can go backwards with the shell to do this cheese. Watch what I'm about to do. Oh my god, it's I thought I went early, so okay. I'll explain what I was going for. So the objective here was we were going to pause at a certain point for three, a count of three that I, I internally count it. And in that time, the platforms are going on and off. So when I'm pausing it, they're in the off state. So I would, fall, I would normally fall onto the spikes, but the three count puts them back into the on state. And the resiners are not on global timers, so they stay, they're stay stationary during the pause, allowing me to keep the cycle that I want. It's pretty nifty. Um, and has varying success. <laughs> the first playthrough of that boss, the fireballs. I shouldn't have talked during that. That part takes way too much concentration. So we're, we're skipping the wing block with this. We're, we're doing some tricky bubble maneuvers here. I hate these deaths I'm taking. They're terrible. Unnecessary, but I don't. I don't know if I've ever died like that. By the way, to be honest, I'm just gonna reset. I'm. I'm, I'm mentally out of that one. <laughs> okay, fuck it. So yeah, the re the Resner boss is the uh, the first time is RNG fireballs. So the strat that I use sometimes is not viable I try my best to make it work and if it works great but if it doesn't the uh every time after that is guaranteed in terms of the fireballs as long as you follow the the choreographed dance with the uh the resiners it'll be identical every time It's Barb Jank. <laughs> yeah, definitely not my fault. Definitely not my fault. That, that higher curry, man. That that really set us back. But it's okay. So yeah, this, this is what we do here. We try our best. 
get the hot runs. Sometimes it works, and sometimes we go back to the beach and try again. But if there's one thing that we know how to do here, it's be persistent. We do not give up. Was like 200 hours of this hack, and it's always Barb's fault. There you go. <laughs> I, lo I, lo I love how, how much Tom's cheered me on. Let's fucking go. One last thing, sorry, one last thing. I didn't, to I got sidetracked by the um, grip changes. I forgot to mention the last little bit there is the in-game timer. So uh, in most levels, you'll be able to see a timer in the top right corner. And I've, you know, I, I have a, I tried to have a high attention to detail, right? So when I'm routing out all of these rooms, and, you know, trying to com compile all the fastest strats. Um, I like to also notate, if everything goes perfectly well, what is my expected optimal in-game timer when I exit the room, right? So that's what that three-digit number is um, in the friends. But you'll also notice that there's a letter next to it, and that's because the in-game timer does not have... Um, much detail. It's just a number, uh, like an integer. So I try to refine. Nice. One, one. That been very nice. I try to refine the count by adding a. Ooh, I didn't get the early piece. A uh, high, medium, and low. Right. So it's not 100% accurate, right? It, it's I do I do the room. I try my best to gauge how is it like just switch over to the next number, then it would be a high. Has it been there for a little bit, but not crazy long? Then it's a medium, and if it's about to switch because it's been so long, it's a low. So I kind of just eyeball it, but I like having it um, just as a reference. Because you guys, as the audience members, can then see, okay, well, he was supposed to get a medium 365 there, but, you know, he got a 364, so clearly he made a mistake somewhere, and you can kind of gauge it that way. It's just a different way to gauge that. So that's one aspect of it. And then the other is, uh, when I leave a game, like, I finish grinding the game, and eventually if I come back to it, I like having this detail to refresh my memory, okay, Here's what my PB did. Here's my PB video. But was I missing anything, right? If, if I see that my PB video is like three or four in game timer off, I know that maybe there was like a strat that I removed from the run or I wasn't able to go for in that attempt or, you know, for whatever reason. And also in a similar vein, the, uh, the grips being listed is nice to refresh my memory as to like how I was holding the controller when I'm coming back to to relearn a game. Uh, yeah, yo, what's up, Tom? Thank you for the resub there. Let me check how many. Did it say nine? Uh, a $10 donut as well. Holy, holy. Thank you so much. 
Uh, Tom, thank you for the nine months. Feels like longer than that. I'm surprised. But I do appreciate it. I'll try to let me go back to the, uh, pull up my donuts and see what the message was. I'll read it at the end of the level. Showing commitment to my go, yo. That must have been Tom. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. One thing that I wish I was a little bit better at is uh, trying to play at a high level while also reading chat. I try my best. Oh, wow. Oh, God. That was terrible. I got off my normal pattern and couldn't get back on. So there you go. That's what I go for. It's a one cycle of the throw block hallway. Very tight. But it does look nice when you get it. Yeah, as you can see, it's like so much goes on in these hack. That's, that's a dead run. How did I not get... I don't know how I didn't get P-Speed back or maintain P-Speed there. That was terrible. See, it's like all, all it takes is just a small amount of loss of concentration. And it just, <laughs> everything just blows up. Oh, laser. Oh, I didn't see that. Uh, ah, fine. I'll, I'll, do, I'll do it. I'll do it. I, I won't make you wait. Right here, right? There we go. Good old laser. <laughs> what a boss. The, uh, the hardest part is getting out of World 1. We've gotten a lot better at uh, World 2 and 3. Four, 4 is a crapshoot. And then five we're pretty good at, and then six is kind of a crapshoot too. <laughs> six being the uh, the final world for us. Anyone uh, from the uh, the J Rose raid, uh, big Kaizo players and slash or watchers. How much experience do you guys have with these uh, these sorts of games? Ooh, that was almost too aggressive. Been hell diving like crazy? What does that mean? A PS5 uh, a PC game? Oh, now that you say that, I actually think I recognize that name. Because wasn't that game, like, hella popular for a while? And was not a... Like, it's not like a AAA game or whatever. More of an indie game, and it kind of exploded. 
on the scene. I think I remember hearing about that. Like Destiny. I loved uh, I loved Halo, but Destiny just didn't click for me for whatever reason. Maybe I'm just not like used to the genre enough to fully appreciate it. do this to me. Okay, we actually didn't die, so it's not fucked, but that was rough. I didn't play Kaiser, Kaiser yourself. I think the game was average. <laughs> Only average. Bold claim, bold claim. But you are correct in the sense that uh, I think people don't truly understand how difficult some of this stuff is until they get their hands on it. It's a, it's a skill you can definitely learn, though, so... Not, not impossible. Highly recommend picking it up. But it does take a while to kind of get all the nuances under your belt. Get used to that precision that's required for these, like, expert-level hacks. getting razzed on. Hold on. <laughs> Looks pretty damn tight. Still oh no, you're saying, okay, I, th I thought you were saying that I didn't have any consistency in Toxic. I was like barely glanced at that. <laughs> it's like, oh shit, I'm getting called out. <laughs> yeah, tox Toxic Tunnel is, uh, figure out how to fix that. I always get deceived by... When I try to fix that, I just never go at the right time, so I end up wasting more time than anything. This is for the redemption of me. Wow. That was 
way closer than I anticipated. Oh! Oh my god, dude. I, I almost just botched that last jump. That was terrifying. <laughs> Yo, Ryo Ry doing this shit in piano grip the entire time is actually mind-blowing. I don't know how he does it. The The amount of practice he must have taken to get used to that grip. What's up, killer? Thank you for the good luck. But yeah, the Toxic Tunnel still kicks my ass if I try to go. There's two strats that I'm not going for that I can definitely get them. Like, I literally got one of them on the... Uh, was that? I think that was during the J-Rose raid attempt where I, I took one death. I was like, fuck it, I'll just go for the fast strat the second attempt and uh, clutched it. So, like, it can be done, but it's just... I don't have quite the level of consistency I, I think I would need to warrant going for it. You know, interestingly enough, I don't think I would enjoy making tasses. I feel like I'd just be itching to play rather rather than to to program. Because I, I imagine it's very tedious to tass it out. You know, when I, when we're doing science over here, we're we're doing it by hand, right? You know, manually playing each section and I find that to be fun I like experimenting like that we don't have to be a hundred percent precise right in terms of our timing data we try to do a good job get as close as we can but we don't necessarily need to get the perfect gold or verify that everything is calculated accurately to the hundredth of a second. Alright, try to go within like five hundredths. Yeah, maybe a tenth. It's good enough. But then, like, from the task aspect, it's like, you really want to get every frame mastered. So, you know, all, any of your jumps, you're going to want to make sure you get to the max speed, lock it in, neutral the D-pad, right? Get the first frame P-speed jump in those instances where that matters. All right. Any of those, it's just so, so precise. Plus, the other thing is I prefer the strats that are RTA viable. Because when they're when they're RTA viable but crazy hard, it's very satisfying to, to crush it. You feel really good about yourself. I don't think it would be the same level of enjoyment when you're, like, tass it out. Because, of course, the tass can do it. Uh, Doug, thank you for the raid. Cheers, man. What's up, Boozy? How was your stream, Doug? It's me. I'm the problem. I don't know. Look at this pace. You seem like you're uh, pretty good luck so far. 
We haven't made a single mistake since you showed up. We just made a small mistake since you showed up. You gotta be shitting me. Okay, we'll just die. We'll, we'll fucking die. That was a weird... A weird mistake to make, but it's fine. We've had uh, two different paces today. I'll, I'll, I'm including this one. There was, there's been two really good starts. Um, one run we did end up getting to so long with a chance. Um, we did a no reset run as well that was decent. Ended up as a 102. Not bad, not bad. Especially given the context of the attempt. And we're we're just in generally good spirits. Doing good. So we got the. You have... How was I not stopped? How... Oh, that was trash. This. Don't rush this. There's, like, no reason to rush it. You have plenty of time to still get the good cycle there. Oh, okay, focus, focus. get the 60, but we did um, get the pipe very cleanly, very easily. So we made an update there. We did die twice to that pipe today. It's been giving me a lot of uh, anxiety lately. So I, I took the time in the middle of stream today to look at that, and I feel good about the update we made. We changed the way we approached the saw and how we dismount the saw. And thus, that changes how we uh, mount the dolphin, like where, where our intersection point is. Oh, wow, that was way too close. I don't know. That angle is terrible, but we're okay. Oh, hell yeah, dude. That's a, that's a good crew you got there, Tom. It's a good crew. Has Dom been, been streaming much? I feel like it's hard for me to get to see people these days. Can you... Not dead yet. I think. Really like that update. Uh, well, we could definitely be in a better position, but we can. We can. We'll, we'll see what happens. In the snow. We'll see what happens. In the snow. Yo, shout out snug. Bone Witch, that's Tom, by the way. Thank you for the good luck. Been six months? Okay, I thought it would... Yeah, I hadn't seen him in a while, but again, now that I'm full-time software again, it's it's a lot harder for me to get to watch people. I still end up streaming myself for like what 18 ish hours a week on top of my 40 hours of then you factor in sleeping and then getting dinner ready
before you know it, Pac goes home and we're spending our time together. And so, unfortunately, Twitch was the one that had to take the hit in terms of where my hours get cut from. How's the dev life going? Pretty well, pretty well. Uh, been working on a fun little uh, task the last uh, week or so. Um, part of it has been doing some refactoring of our uh, JSON config files. And then um, the most recent, like the whole purpose of that was so that we could do validation on them make them consistent so they pass a validator so I've been designing that transformation of the old version of the way things were interacting because you gotta like figure out how it used to work like unhook it make your tweaks to like how things should be set up and then find the way to like plug it back in and i'm still gonna i want to make sure i focus on code reuse which is my favorite part i love i love doing like the design aspect of it figuring out how to really get good use stuff like inheritance and, and make sure it's set up in a way where if new things come along that they flow they fit into the system seamlessly All right so the, the current the initial cut that I took at this I don't love what I did I mean it, it's it's decent enough but it does require if a new type of config is generated then I need they need to like add in some hooks but they might not know that but I have an idea of how I want to tweak it. But it, it, this is the kind of stuff that I get excited about. <laughs> that kind of like thought process, like how can I make this a, an easy experience for future developers? There's a really fun task coming up soon where we're gonna try to fix the, or we're trying to optimize the the stuff right now takes on my machine eight minutes well it's 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 variable it could take six to eight minutes to do one run of the uh the code of the auto code generator and uh that's a lot of time for for some people when they're doing their work they they only need to run it maybe you know once or twice a day if that so it might not impact them too much. But like me, that's like what I work on every, like all day, every day. So when I'm running this, I have to, if I make a tweak and I have to run it, it eats up so much of my day. So it's like desperately needed in my opinion. So we're gonna be looking into some parallelization on that. And my opinion is that we need to do it with a, like a complete rework. Because right now, the way things work, it does a... It's, it's a lot of regular expressions in there, uh, which is fine. But essentially, they... They, they deep dive parse. So they, f they find a type def definition in the code, and then they trace it all the way down. So if a, if a struct has four fields... It'll dive down the first field's type first and go down, 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 get to lo the lowest base level until it gets like, you know, a Boolean or an integer or whatever. Then it'll, you know, pull back up and then proceed again, right? But the problem with this approach is with the big code base, 
it's there's no it's not set up for parallelization. At the end of the day, they're going to have to write out data to the same file if it maintain. Oh, okay, fixed it. If they maintain the uh, the current approach. Whereas I think if we switch it, where we let it parse an entire file, like one process parses a file. In, in its entirety before moving on, then it's only reliant upon its contents, and it can essentially stub out the parts that it's missing until things reconvene. There's some other ideas we have as well, but I think I think that's going to be a fun project whenever we get the um, the okay to take a crack at that. on the chuck on the back end, but it's fine. That's the only problem that is very minimal. I, that was so bad by me. I was so high to begin with. And I knew it too. I should have just bailed on the fat on the fast strat there. That was a terrible decision making. Pretty rare for me to be put into that spot in the first place, though. Oh, that's I'm, I'm gonna go two cycle here because that was I did not like the way I was aligning that. Together. Damn. Big death, but we definitely stuff. What's up, Orca? If your EMR develop what does EMR stand for? Going to bed? No worries, Doug. Thank you again for the raid. I do appreciate it. Sleep well. Electronic medical record. So is it, it, that sounds like database work. Here. That was terrible. You. I was. That's Dude, come on. Dude, this has been such a bad day of this level. I don't think it's gone right at all today. Oh, wait, we had the good leaf spawns, the fire leaf spawn. Normally we don't on the... Okay, well... Awful. 
One day we'll have nice things, one day. Uh, Cap, thank you for the raid, by the way. What's up, guys? How was your stream? We're, we were doing good things, Cat, and then we, uh... Might have started being a bad kid. Forgot how to plumb. Hey, what's up, Bonjour? Thank you for the good luck. Transforming physical inventory, tracking into electronic. New point design a simple way to parse this data. Other than manually? Uh, yes. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I need to look at this again. I feel like this has not been working consistently. There was a period in time where I was feeling like very confident with the Thwomp Squeeze, but lately it's been very shaky. left. Impossible today. It's absolutely impossible not taking that death. That was right at the end. Yeah, don't say, Richie. Don't say. Are you doing anything that spicy on your end, Cat? Any fun shit going on? We've just been uh, doing our normal stuff, grinding away, but uh, as you can see, Forest Left has eaten us alive. Oh, I can't believe that, that was terrible. <laughs> Let's go. I'm surprised I was only at 59, though. I know what we're doing wrong. Everyone knows to power up, you have to power on. And by power on, I mean the fan. Honko got me a, uh, a desk fan for my birthday. <laughs> and I know that sounds lame, but it's actually been pretty useful. There's, there's, there's definitely some psychology there somewhere. The, hot, the hotter the uh, room temperature, the shittier you play. It's like the, the rage inducing. So if you hear a fan, don't mind me. Blazing Pinball trying to get back into it after emotionally attaching to, to someone. I'm sorry to hear about that. Uh, you know, a little bit. Difficult situation you got there. It's like when you have something, uh, a thing that you really enjoy, but you associate it with someone you may you may not enjoy anymore. Totally get it, but glad to see you hopping back on the horse. For the uh, for the pinball, is it a physical machine? Like, are you live streaming 
playing a physical thing, or is it uh, uh, electronic, like like online? Pretty interesting though if you got a. I mean, I, I assume uh, pinball cabinet is. Uh, I assume they're called cabinet. I'm not actually sure. It sounds about right though. I I assume they're hella fucking expensive. I'm gonna guess like several thousand dollars. For, for a machine. But think of all of the tournament practice you could get out of that. Minimum! Oh, oh, oh my god. That's pretty gnarly. Are the parts really that much, or is it the uh, underlying software that makes it so expensive? Like, imagine if a new gaming console was $7,000. Uh, whoa, did I miss one? How did this happen? What the fuck just happened there? One, I must have not gotten credit for one that I thought I did. Medieval madness. I do appreciate the themed nature of all the pinball machines. We are normal, yeah. Almost doubted myself for a second. Which we're up to. This hack's probably getting up there in terms of how long I've spent on a single hack. Granted, there are three very long categories, but I've been doing this since December now. I want to say early December, too, in terms of uh, learning. The reason I thought of that was, uh, <laughs> I was thinking about how long Cat's been playing Ultra Kaiser World 2. One day. I don't... 
That's when I'm gonna strike. When you've lost all hope, boom. Ultra Kaiser World 2. <laughs> Coming to a stew stream near you. <laughs> gotta be beyond rift 2 and titan i would be surprised if it's not i feel like the only chance of other hacks taking more time was storks invictus and grand world 2 i think and even that i'm not even well i mean grand world 2 we did multiple stints right same with storks so it's like very possible Yeah, I was going to say, he's, it's not him he doesn't believe in, it's me he doesn't believe in. He's been trying to get me to play Ultra Kaiser World 2 since, uh, I have no idea. I don't even remember the first time I ran into Cat Makes. I don't even know, what was the scenario? He was probably running Ultra Kaiser World 2 and I slid in. Ood and odd. Kaizo speedrunners these days. Nah, I was too far forward. I would have not landed on the note block if I went for the uh, note block skip. I would have overshot it. Had to go for both. Nearly a silly mistake. I actually have died like that twice lately. Just flubbing the, the red pipe. You know, it's it today has not been a bad cave day outside of maybe porpoise. Knock on wood. We've been doing some things. Uh oh. 
Whew, okay. I, I don't know why I took the vertical fish gate so slow. There was, or there, yeah, I think it was the vertical one. There, there was something I did as like, kind of lulled myself into like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I woke up and like, wait, I'm supposed to be moving right now. But we were able to sneak in there. Yeah, that that's one of the hottest strats in the run for sure. The the switcheroo. I think uh, Hagakure is another level that has a bunch of pretty spiffy strats when they work. Make sure to take my time. Oh, I almost went early. Jesus Christ. Look at that. Even though I fucked up the actual pipe entrance, we cleared with ease. Like, um, the dolphin was not in my way. We were able to maneuver around a mistake. Just everything about the update today has been feeling really nice. All of a sudden, we're, uh, we're cruising a bit here. Let's go. Tide gold. Nice. Ever pace, let's go. Like I said, we've been doing some pretty good things today in uh, in cave. It is the uh, the rest of the attempts that have been, or the rest of the levels that have been, uh, not the most stellar for us. <laughs> so, okay, that's this run. That's all the run we need right here. We got it. I stopped. Okay. Well, I guess I'm not gonna do that start this attempt. That's a very weird mistake to make. It's like I... brain just stopped. Oh! punish in terms of a death so yeah you gotta be careful with the butt bump strat if you are too far to the right when you activate the stuff the 
right throw block doesn't have as much space, so it falls off the platform sooner, right? So I thought I definitely did it from too far right because if you're bad on the pickups, the the stationary throw block pushes you to the right. right? Like you, you get what, get my drift. Like it blocks your path, so the moving platform continues left, and you. Oh, that was terrible. I don't know the last time I've done it that way. Like, failed that way. Get your snow drift, yeah. <laughs> okay, come on. Give me a good slip knot. We have yet to get a full one shot today. Nice. Do really enjoy that strat. is such a bag of dicks, dude. Wish every single time today it's been second try. Like, I don't know why I can't just get it first attempt on that fuck ass shell. It'd be much less annoying if it just, like, every so often it's like, okay, hey, I'll work for you. <laughs> I'll give you your jump, I'll give you your, your rightward toss, I'll do the good things. It's always got to be a tease first. Hope we're on secret exit. I think we are. Okay, we are good. It's like I don't remember playing the secret, so we must be here, but. We got a little bit lucky that the abnormal mistake led into a, another mistake that is weird, which was I bonked the sidewall. I didn't cleanly enter the, the one tile. If we had, we probably would have been screwed. Then 
messes up my fast red bubble, so no no dice there. At least I'm not gonna risk that because of the weird Yoshi. I didn't want to gamble that the disco spiny would still work the same way. Because the, by having a weird Yoshi, you're not getting to the red bubble at the same time as at the same time as normal. Which how was I so fucking slow? Late Yoshi, or altered Yoshi, means you don't get the bubble at the same time, so it's lower, which then means you might not be able to jump over the disco. It's kind of a long story short. Okay, well, another one where it's like, if we get a clean peak, we're kind of in slightly below average territory, which is a, a position that we can do stuff from. I've had chances to be on like insane paces today, we just can't do what it takes when we need to. Okay. A little tight under that. Right there on one tile of ice with a spike next to you is adventurous. Yes, and I hate every second of it, cat. Every fucking second of that. Thank you, Shine, for the G's. This is where it matters, though, my friend. We've had three. Okay, that's a dumbass death. The fuck did that. had three runs I think now get to forest and they've all done a terrible job in forest left and that is not a good start that we just had but we'll see we'll see I still hold out hope but I actually paid enough attention to realize it and went for the intended shell leaf instead of the fast version. So that was a well done in terms of mitigating. Let's see what happens 
over in the ropes. Definitely have a bit of a mixed bag here as well, so hopefully we get the good end of it. squeeze. Might need to look into that. Trust in the queue. Less and less. Which is never a good sign. Hello. Hello! Mother... two cycles because I was too slow at the Bowser statue. Uh, it happened earlier today, but I actually died earlier. That's very weird. Okay, we salvaged that. Lost a whole rotation, obviously, but... Uh, still good that we didn't die and got to do the vast majority of the strat, at least.
kind of want to just not grab the halfway. Risky. Would have been rewarded. All else was equal there. Four, and he went top right. Now. Actually, clutch that like crazy. Holy shit. That was surprising. The way the, way the bounces were... So once he goes top right, my whole strategy goes to shit. But... We made it all work. And to top it off, we got him into the corner to end. Which then means I'm back on track for how I do the second phase. Which is definitely the scarier phase if you don't have the known setup. <laughs> true, Rich, true. I've become weak in my old age. We're in a very similar situation as to the run earlier today where that did make it to so long where we're gonna need to have to clutch all this endgame shit out, which is asking a lot, but to be fair, we did it last time. Like we did play end game stuff very well. So if we can just channel that energy again, give ourselves a crack at this, let's go. Gojirard's too poor to gamble these days. Once upon a time, he was a Pibionaire. Redeemed it a while ago. Think of all the uses you could have had by now. Don't feel bad. Treason, treason redeemed the million probably over a year ago at this point. It's been ages.
Hell yeah, brother. far right. I was gonna go for the Kaizo helper block at the last set because I had so much vision though because of the missed on off block earlier I had enough vision that I could actually gauge where I was coming in at and I was able to use that knowledge to determine that I wasn't gonna have the distance to do the Kaizo helper block. but the whole setup got Not the ultimate good. Terrible RNG that time, unfortunately. First try is RNG fish. So I didn't get him to go final rock left side, which means I didn't stay left far, like far enough left for long enough. Which is a, made for an awkward final hit. A little bit slower. This is just pretty weak. Technically still has a chance, but literally everything has to go right. Yeah, the bottom left is my PB. The uh, splits are not my PB. The splits are my best ever pace. A little bit different. So we've had a run that was two minutes and five seconds faster this than this entering tower.
second time today we've messed up that shell room. Although the, the first time we messed it up was not, I don't think was my fault. The shell double hit the on off block on the left side. seems janky more than a skill issue, I think. This one, that was my fault. I'm watching PB. Did PB go for? No, PB did not go for the. Did not go for the shell skip. I'm a full flintlock behind right now. Like, I have a good visual, or a good setup these days. Made a tweak that was very... ...consistent. I was just late. Okay, we don't get to do anything. Now I'm gonna have to get lucky, because I don't do it this way. Was it, there was no dust, but it was on the first falling platform. Like, it was on the falling platform before I grabbed the mushroom. There was, there was definitely a slidage there before I actually got my jump off. No way, man. 56.49, I think it was perfect. Oh, such a bummer. We've had one very good puzzle today, or I should say it was like pretty good. Not perfect, but it's pretty good. And then we've had one bad, and there's a, this is gonna be bad. Okay, we're not even gonna fuck around with this. Oh, we don't want this one, we want this. Wait, did 
not the one I. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, sure, sure. Whatever. I don't even want to do it. This is so. I don't know why that didn't work. Granted, it was with not my normal movement, right? So I could have misremembered where stuff was going, or I don't know. But I thought I thought I put things in the right hole on the on the very casual attempt. Definitely annoyed. Definitely annoyed. Let's see if we can get one more tonight. didn't uh, really finish, but we, we gave it a good try there. We, we took it. Pretty much to the to the end. Power off needed, yeah. Wow. Good call. Fuck. I forgot. For those not aware, the Tower of Fate is RNG, but by powering off and powering on, you uh, reset the RNG. So the first, the first time we get there in a run, after powering on the console, we know how the RNG is going to behave. And we've routed out second attempt and third attempt. Technically, I could have... You know, that's actually... I just thought of something very intriguing. We could intentionally set up second, second manip, right? We could power off, power on. We could get to the Tower of Fate. Then, then just reset, not power off. And we would we would be in a known the question is would be worth it in regards to speed my my hunch is no 
I feel like the FFA rooms are actually pretty quick. Not that the FF8 rooms are super slow by any means. But I feel like the FFA is faster. FFA has much cooler strats, but also much scarier strats. And FFA enters the door sooner in the first place. FF8 has to wait the extra to uh, in-game timer. So it, it already is working at a disadvantage. Would probably be worth investigating, though, because you don't really know, right? It's all speculation. They think of the rooms. So they both share that room. So there's only seven rooms to, like, really compare. I mean, Green Bean is fucking hella fast. The double shell jump seems also very fast. I mean, Yoshi in FF8, though, is pretty fast, too. Moving block is medium. It's not, like, super-duper slow, but it's not, like... There's, like, a slight bit of waiting, probably. Back and forth. Maybe it's not that bad, though. One cycle Sparky is also pretty quick. I mean, maybe. What about the rooms on FF8? What do those look like? Square Saw is kind of. Is that kind of slow? Mistakes. I trust the shark would be a bro, as well as the door. I mean, the fireball is a little bit slow. It's two full fireball. I mean, it's at least comparable. Fishing boot room has some back and forth. The final room of FFA has got to be slow, right? I'm, I am definitely making some contemplations right now, if you couldn't tell. side would be that FF8 is way easier. So the, the likelihood of getting a, a, um, a clean clear is much higher. So when, I, when I take a death in FFA, it's usually 50 to 75% of the way through. Which easily can eat up 40 plus seconds, right? Or 30 plus, whatever. It's it's pretty expensive.
think about doing the fast track or completely hosting the opening of that. We're lucky we didn't die. That was none of my normal strats in this Roblox hallway. Alright, so we're gonna take a time loss for it. We didn't have any deaths, right? Yeah, so we because we didn't have any deaths, that just looks like one kind of like small death. When taking just a quick glance at it. So that that's actually would put us at a pretty good pace still. Thank you, please, for the good luck. We're, this is going to be the last one of the night, actually. We had one to so long with a chance, but it had a rough force left and then clutch out a lot of the endgame stuff. But then we didn't we didn't do well in so long. We had another one that had another bad force left, and then we did not clutch out Tower of Fate very well. Or Flintlock, or Puzzle, so that one crashed and burned. We did a no reset for a 102, which given the circumstances of that run was actually pretty solid. Uh, we did have a green pace exiting world one first ever sub 820 world one absolutely incredible we had another green pace on a different run exiting world two i don't remember what the exact time was but it was like three quarters of a second faster i think than my old best It's been the, uh, what's it called? The forest left has been my Achilles heel today. But otherwise, I feel like we're playing pretty well. The other notable level that's been kick my ass is the, the shell strat in uh, Slipknot. I keep getting it second try. Which, if it, if it was like... 50% of the time getting it first try, 50% getting it second try. I wouldn't feel too bad about that. Because at least we would have a decent number of one shots there. And that's always two, and it just hurts the soul. That's a big in. That's a big in. Yeah, I think that I want to say the the one that was in the green earlier today, exiting world two. I want to say it was fifty one twenty five or twenty six pace, something like that. So this is already twenty plus seconds, I think, slower than what that run was paced at, exiting the world as a whole. Oh God. That was close.
Been a, I think it's been a pretty good day of Blast Brigade. Good, good day of Cave in general, even though we took a big one this time on Toxic. Hey, oh, thank you, Neil. Ah, no one's in pipe. As far as I wasn't 4-2, I felt like I was flying through everything there. Felt insanely clean. I think, I wonder if I didn't get the 42 because I touched down like earlier than normal and I wonder if um, I ended up walking on the ground for more frames than normal as a result of that. Ashley, how's it going? Welcome to the uh, final run of the night. We're gonna try our best to clutch this one out. And walk home with a new PB. Eyes are getting a bit droopy though. Five and a half hours of uh, Grand Pool 3 will do that to you, I guess, right? <laughs> oh god. Oh, that is. I want to change that strat, dude. I always feel so sketched out by that. I wonder if I should be doing a control bounce. I've all I've always done a min bounce regrab, like, and surprisingly, like I very rarely die there. But it always feels sketchy as fuck, and it never like. <sighs> Damn, that was terrible. Well, that time wasn't sketchy, but maybe it's because. There might be a component of it that I'm not fully factoring in. Like, maybe I need to have a visual cue for when to... Ah, oh, that really trashed this attempt, damn it. Uh, visual cue for when to dismount the dolphin. It's possible that sometimes I'm going early, sometimes I'm going late, and I wonder, like, early probably is the situation where I run out of spacing atop of if I don't get a good re-grab. Which it might have been, it might require both of those situations to make me fail. Yo, what's up, Joker? Thank you for the good luck. Ah, no! Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We have 10 in game timer to work with at the end. So yeah, that one mistake at the beginning. Is not gonna wreck us at the end. Oh, okay. The that's the fan. It's because it gets hot in here. So we, I have a desk fan now, so that that's a new addition. I apologize. I could probably, I'm not an audio engineer by any means, but I'm sure there's a way that would uh, prevent that sound from being captured. But I would just need assistance on how to set that up properly. Interesting to see. Yeah, you know, we're all about collecting that data, right? What? How good are the runs with and without the fan relative to the room temperature?
Yeah, it's blowing up the mic just because the, the way the room is currently set up, it's like the only good spot for it. But things can be shifted, maybe. Let's go. Oh, just barely. But hey, it's good enough, right? This, this stream's usually a dumpster fire anyways, though, to be fair. <laughs> no, no one expect good shit to occur here. I pride, I pride myself on my, my amateur hour. Whoa, five. Uh, yeah, Ashley, if you're still here, how far did uh Poncho end up making it? that puzzle. I don't think I've seen him online since I gotta check him out uh, okay. during the uh, Grim Pearl 3 puzzling, but uh, that was a lot of fun. Halfway ton, nice. Very good. I got demolished by the portrait puzzle. I had I, I was fucking looking at constellations in the fucking snow world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Got it. Sometimes you just need a good moan to get through the pain. Oh, okay, come on. I almost didn't land on that. That was very close to... to oh, Jesus Christ. All of these have been... Way too close. But hey, no, no harm, no foul. Let's go. Okay, get lucky. Get lucky. Oh. Get on out of there, nice. Whew. Damn, first expert only done two intermediates as well. Very impressive. Yeah, that'll definitely help. We've been kind of struggling at Slipknot, like I said earlier, so. Uh, that was definitely what this run needed, is to not blow any more time there. Well, I didn't like my angle that I had, so I didn't go for the super duper fast. Block one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. <sighs> if we clutch these two levels, I'm going to be loving our pace, man. It'd be a great way to end the night. Get those prayers in chat. Let's go. 
we've done, done a pretty decent job at bulb, but I do think there was one instance today where it was absolute trash. Let's see what happens. Nice, we got it. Part one anyways. Oh, oh. Ooh, can't go for the fast red bubble, because I messed up the blue. Oh god. Oh, thank god. Okay, can't go for the fast disco. So we lost about three-ish in-game timer compared to what I would have liked to see with a perfect room, but okay, given the circumstances, we take, we take it. Whoop. Whoa, that was weird. Let's go. I'm, that was dumb. Dumb by me. Very, very dumb. Just get too ex got too excited. It's not a, it's like a super easy spot. Way too low for one second. Oh, that was. Oh, oh! Oh my God, dude! I did the. Oh, I worse. I'm lucky we didn't die. That was two different ways of fa a fail. Come in hot. We're, I mean, ugh, okay, well, that's a thing. It happened. <laughs> that's usually a very easy disco mount, but, uh, you know, sometimes we flub things up, I guess. And when you get into that situation, it's so easy to panic and rush into a death. So at least I'm happy that we didn't do that. Cause that def that definitely that would have been end of run. I would there's no there's no mentally coming back from that. I think. Got the cycle skip on the saw. I did get the one cycle on the saw, which is good. We got the one cycle on the chuck as well. Nice up and put. Nice up and put. Oh, you know. Maybe that's one spot I need to look into for neutral and D-pad. Instead of holding right. <sighs> I'm not used to... spawn. Okay. I was expecting it to weird spawn, but it didn't. I didn't get to do any of the good stuff at the end. Hmm. 
normally if you see the fire leaf like once you see the fire leaf once the respawn is almost always in a different spot going forward but the last two run attempts it's thrown me off because i've seen it die and then see it again and it's in the original position not in the bad position but i'm already like accounting for it to be in the bad position so i've changed my approach and there's no like fixing it to go back to the the original approach so then i'm stuck doing it as a casual ending okay come on rope burn I'm gonna go for this right now. Womp Squeeze is letting me down today. Okay, we needed that. Rope burn's been very sketchy today. So getting out of that clean was paramount. Okay. Dude, this, this run is so freaking crazy, man. Every, every level just seems like a nail biter. You know what I'm saying? Like there, there are a few levels that I feel very, very confident on. But there's also a ton that are just like, well, I hope this one works right now when I need it to. Credit for the good regrab, but it did not credit me with the P switch, which is unfortunate. It does happen. I don't fully understand it, but it is what it is. Those fireball dodges. Whew. Scary. We made it though. That's what matters. Okay. Good rope burn. Nearly a good temple. We did take the death though, right? At the first yellow. So it really wasn't perfect, but boss was good. No issues in the first half. get another good one right here, right?
okay we needed that good good bubble i mean it's, it wasn't the best in terms of speed it was like a little bit slow but respectable We had two to save, lost 20. Additional. Stay strong. That's fine, that's fine. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Got you covered, my friend. Yeah, I was actually contemplating Rich uh, skipping the halfway. I was gonna, I was gonna do a shout out to Orca. But then uh, it's a good thing I didn't. <laughs> Don't let me forget. I got to put on my note list. How fast is FF8? We're, we're theory crafting that it might be smart. Oh, that jump up. That was insane. How early I got that jump. Like, the higher up in the air you are before the freeze frame goes, the earlier you got your jump off. All right, so that was incredible. Quick. Okay, come on. Just stay strong, stay strong. We've been doing good on Forest, right?
no fast wing block. Not a very... We didn't really get to do much of the good stuff there. Or... Well, we didn't get to do the wing block thing. We did get to do pretty much everything else, except that... We didn't get to do it off-screen at the end, because we missed the on-off block. No, we missed the mount. That's what we did. We missed the mount. Had to do it a second time, which cost too much time to be able to get the fast ending. Okay. Committed to a strat that I should not have committed to. But to be fair, I didn't think I was committing to it. But still. I did not... Set myself up for success. I, play I played it too risky. We haven't really gotten the crazy paces today. I think this time forest left actually wasn't that bad right, but forest right was not that good. Well, at least relative to all the other. Like, we've had some pretty good forest rights today, but that's what it is. Much prefer actually having like a fifty, a decent fifty-four pace entering tower, but we keep getting like these high fifty-four or low to mid fifty-five. Like nothing it makes it hard to. Saying there's still a chance.
Did it did it in seven tries? Is that is that a good thing or a bad thing? I I am very biased. Oh, it's good. Okay, <laughs> nice. Because I I don't know how long um uh, many people took on it, but I'm I've got a DDR Stepmania Guitar Hero background, so I actually ended up <laughs> first shotting it. <laughs> So I, I I'm the oddball though. Don't don't mind me. Don't mind me. Fireball was pretty far left. I might have been able to min spin jump re grab heavy to reach the Bowser statue directly directly without having to do the intermediate jump, but and I could have used the fireball, but also that was pretty far as well. It was it was, it was in a weird position. Shawl on it for hours. Oh shit! I I didn't realize it was uh, it was that that tricky. Damn. So seven's pretty good then. Let's go. was not by much, but it completely changed. God damn, dude, it's been a bad day of the shell for me after having made some really nice updates for consistency there. I've been failing to hit my cues. So that was exactly how it should look. Don't I really wish there was a reload timer on this to know. It's so tempting to like cut my jump short. That's not me. Okay. Um, no one cycle, obviously. I went for it. goes the run. I haven't been able to make an attempt at the um, one cycle in a little bit. Or, sorry, not the one, the um, shell skip in a little bit. Oh, that's really the run. I don't know how I don't know how that wasn't better speed to be honest. I thought I got a really good
too little too late there. Yeah, I didn't know you could use the D-pad either until I started speedrunning. So I, I, I'm sorry, I didn't know you could use the face buttons. I was using the D-pad, and I think the D-pad is much harder to use than the face buttons. Due to, uh... The rolling nature of the uh, the D pad, as well as the uh, closeness, like it, the 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 face buttons are spread out a little bit more, so I can get all my fingers on there. That's supposed to be super clean. We had the setup for the super clean. I was late on the drop, though. So I do a drop and then nudge. Seven, eight. Technically, it's a drop slide nudge, but you know. The, uh, the shell skip at the end of um, Flintlock, it's extremely spooky. <laughs> very, very spooky strat. But pretty sexy, though. <laughs> Time for the cape. Man, what a bummer. Tonight's run's just, it, was, it wasn't meant to be tonight. I'm too tired to have the, I don't have the patience right now. <laughs> so we're just gonna go straight to the part that I, I wanna play. Since the, the run's dead anyways. Thank you. 
lie, dude. over it i'm too tired <laughs> okay that's gonna do it for me for tonight thank you guys for watching i hope you guys had fun let's uh who is who is alive who is a person who exists right now here we'll go over to gobs kaizo mfc i'm not sure what that means exactly but go check him out and i will catch you guys tomorrow uh we'll take a look at doing ff8 first instead of ffa we'll, we'll time that out i'll try to write that down there might be there's i'll think about what other things there's, there's several things i think we could work on thwomp squeeze and um rope burn maybe some others but anywho we'll say that for tomorrow thank you guys for watching peace